Howdy fellow Submission Peeps. In today's video we're going to be doing a very simple, straightforward thing. Uh, we're going to be doing Loomis Shell Jewelry. Uh, a heart pendant and a circle pendant. Uh, both of these are very easy. They're, uh, they're really good gifts come, come holiday season. Um, and with a black and white photo they look, or even Cephia photo, they look absolutely gorgeous. Also you can get these at Dytrans.com, Condi Systems. It's, they're called Loomis Shell Jewelry Pendants. Uh, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. All right, guys and girls, when it comes to designing these, they're very straightforward. Um, let's see, this is actually... Let me... This is for the uh, heart pendant, and the size is... It's right at one inch tall by um, an inch and an eighth wide, so I added a little... Little breathing room over here just in case and i went ahead and added some cut lines that way i can just cut it with scissors and know exactly get it good and squared up pretty straightforward on the other one uh that is this one this is for the circle pendant and it is it's right at an inch, inch and a half uh overall diameter i went ahead and did 1.3 to give it a little breathing room and then we're putting all these uh on uh, we're putting them all on a page that way we can kind of max not, not waste paper um We'll go ahead and get this printed. We're going to be printing these uh, just standard settings, nothing special at all. Go over that real quick. We're doing these on eight and a half by eleven paper. Uh, premium presentation mat, high uh, color, mirrored, obviously. Uh, but yeah, nothing special at all. So we'll go ahead and get that printed, and we'll we'll get it on the other side. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, now that our heat press is heated up, we're heated to 375 degrees. And we're pressing this for 70 seconds. So we're going to just uh, we're gonna get the baby on there as good as we can. I'll line it up top. We'll go ahead and get some tape going. There we go. There we go. And you can see when we tape it, there's just a little gap up there. Well, that's, well, that's exactly what we want. We're going to put it face down. We're going to put another piece of paper on it. And we're going to go ahead and shut it. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to do 375 degrees for 70 seconds. And there we go. All right, we got about five seconds left. So we're going to go ahead and uh, glove up. Actually, one glove will be fun. These gloves are amazing. You can... Uh, there's this little stickage there. Now this is going to be a little hot, so so be careful. But as you can see with Cephia, they they print with a really cool effect. The shells do. There we go. And you can see like the shell image makes it look kind of. It's really interesting. It, it gives a sepia almost like a red tone, but it's really cool. I like doing sepia photos on them because they're really cool. All right, in addition, we're going to go ahead and do this heart necklace too. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get that as centered as we can. Get that just like that. Go ahead and just tape it on down. And bam. Put them face up. Go ahead and cover it with paper. And we can go ahead and press. We're pressing at 375 for 70 seconds. Alright y'all. Uh, once again, gloving up because these ceramic little these little ceramic boogers are pretty hot, so There we go. Once again, our paper decided to stick. No big deal. And we're going to go ahead and just tear the paper off as fast as we can get it. Giving us difficulty. There we go. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. We're good. There we go. And there, you can see it. Another Cepheid image, but that is my wife. 
and my daughter. Uh, that was the actual very first photo I had of them together in the hospital, and it's very beautiful. And in case you're wondering about the, the, the lines, the way the lines are on it, that's not a mistake. Uh, the photo is squared, and I didn't want it to, I didn't want to try to do much Photoshop's work to it. So I kind of just did a, like a gradient on this side and also on the bottom. So I expected it to look like that. It actually still looks really good. Makes me happy. Now the assembly process, which always makes me nervous because I, I have broken these before and it sucks. So what you do is you see this little, uh, little clamp. You go ahead and spread that, no problem. Put it on there and just clamp it on down. And there you go. Simple bond, simple necklace, and and there we go. That's how you do it. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and do this other one too while we're at it. It's cooled off a little bit. So what you do is you once again that that. Self-explanatory. Don't use pliers because that's how I always break them is with pliers. Just use your good old hand strength and there you go. Good old necklace. Just like that. And it's a really cool uh, personalized gift so that makes me happy. So yeah, so that's how you do it guys. Uh, if, you have, if you found this video helpful, uh, feel free to like the video and subscribe and I appreciate it guys. All right, guys and girls, uh, another another successful print. Two more uh, happy people in my life. Um, these necklaces will go to some very important people, so that's gonna be awesome. I always like making stuff for uh, for people in my life, you know. Because I mean, if if you can't make uh, make your friends and family happy, then you know what good is it? What good is your talent? Uh, but anyway. I really appreciate you guys checking this video out, and uh, if you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe for future uh, notifications on content. And once again, you can get these at dietrans.com, and they are called uh, Luma Shell.